hey to the camera. Hey. Right, anyway, so today I thought I'd tackle some chemistry in the form of alkanes. Um, again, people don't like this topic, but the thing about chemistry is it's hard if you don't know the basics, but very easy if you do. So we're going to do that today. Right, so first of all, you need to know that alkanes are hydrocarbons, and it's super, oh, bye bye kitten. And it's super important that when you're defining hydrocarbon, that you specify that it's a molecule which contains hydrogen and carbon atoms only. And it's really important that you say only, because if you don't say only, then you don't get the mark in the exam. So there you go, perfect definition right there. Um, a little side note, to help you understand the family names of the alkanes, it's really important that you also know that every single carbon atom forms four bonds, whereas hydrogen atoms can only form one bond, and that helps when you're drawing them out to understand what's going on. So let's start with the naming of them. So you need to start by understanding the general formula, which is Cn H2n plus 2. So that means you can predict the formula for any alkane. So if it was an alkane with six um, carbon atoms, then the formula would be C6H14. Do you understand that? And then if we draw it out, you'll be able to see the structure as a displayed formula and understand more clearly what's going on. Um, again, another side note, a displayed formula is when you see all the bonds. A molecular formula or an empirical formula is when you literally write something like C2H6 or C3H8. Right, let's talk about naming them. So, we'll start with one carbon. So, based on the formula, we know that a one carbon alkane has four, four hydrogen atoms surrounding it. And we call a one carbon alkane methane. Make sure you notice that the end is ane. And meth stands for one carbon atom. And if you remember these rules, it will help you when we start to talk about alkenes. Next of all, you need to know what two carbon atom stands for, and that's eth. So, let's look at our formula again, CnH2n plus 2. So our formula for this compound is C2H6. And we call this compound ethane. Ane again, meaning an alkane. Eth, meaning two carbon atoms. Let's carry on. Three carbon atoms. This time we're starting with prop. So our, our, sorry, our substance is called propane. Let's look at the formula again. That's going to be C3H8. You don't need to go too far. I'm only going to take another three examples. So four carbon atoms, we're looking at bute, butane. Five carbon atoms, nice and straightforward, like a pentagon. It's going to be pentane. And six carbon atoms, again, really straightforward. It's going to be six carbon atoms, hexane. So, so far we've looked at how we name our alkanes, how we draw them, and how we work out their formula, really. In future videos, I'm going to talk about alkenes, and I'm going to look at fractional distillation and crude oil. But, like I said, I always want to keep these videos really short, and I hope, I hope that's given you a really good summary of alkanes. As always, comment below, add any questions, you can always email me, hazel.sciencetutor at gmail.com. I'll see you really soon.